Hello everyone, welcome to Skills Build a Training YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about Microsoft 365, formerly Office 365. So this tutorial is for beginners and in this we have explained Microsoft 365 apps. My name is Talha and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really really fast. Let's get started. What is Microsoft 365? Microsoft Office is designed to simplify the day-to-day -day office tasks. Each app that Microsoft offer is addressing some specific tasks such as word processing, data management, making presentations, or organizing emails. Microsoft has various versions of Office like 2013, 2016, and latest one 2019. These versions can be downloaded and installed on your PC and you can use them offline, which means that you don't need an internet connection to use them. You can edit your files, save your files on your local drive. When you install Microsoft Office on your computer, you get all Microsoft apps such as Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Excel, OneNote and other Microsoft products. They get installed on your computer and can be accessed anytime. The files we create using these we can save them on our local drive. Now let's talk about Microsoft 365. Similarly Microsoft launched another version of Office called Microsoft 365 or Office 365. Unlike regular versions of Office it is a subscription based service. You need to buy a plan. Once you purchase a plan you can download it on your computer. There is a misconception about Microsoft 365 that it cannot be used offline. The thing is that you can use it offline. However, you need to get online every 30 days to maintain your subscription. Upon purchasing subscription, you get one terabytes to six terabytes one drive cloud storage depending upon your plan. Moreover, you can access all of these apps on your devices with your account. Microsoft 365 automatically saves your files on OneDrive. Moreover, you can access all your files and all your apps across all your devices with one account. Let's talk about the difference between Microsoft 365 and Microsoft Office. The difference is that Microsoft Office is sold as one-time purchase. That means you purchase it with a one-time payment and use Office apps on your device. Whereas Microsoft 365 is a subscription based and you got to get monthly or yearly plans to use it. Microsoft Office can be installed installed on your PC or Mac. You get only security updates but no new features. That means whenever a new version of the office will release, you need to buy it to avail all the new features. But when you have the subscription of the Microsoft 365, you get all the latest features and security updates with it. Let's talk about Microsoft 365 subscription plans. It has two main subscription plans. One is Microsoft 365 personal plan, which costs you around $70 per year. And if you want to talk about monthly, it would cost you around $7 per month. If we talk about Microsoft 365 family plan, then it is going to cost you $9.99 per month, almost $10. And for yearly plan, it is going to cost you $100 per year. The first plan comes into the category of premium plans. Microsoft 365 personal plan includes all the application with one terabytes of OneDrive cloud storage. The plan has both monthly and yearly subscriptions options and of course it is for personal use. Let's talk about the second plan. If you want to share your subscription with your family members, then go for this plan. You can share this plan with your employees, with your workers, or with anyone. You can share your subscription with five other people. Six users are allowed. 
and everyone gets 1 terabytes of OneDrive storage. Microsoft 365 personal plan includes all the Microsoft 365 applications with 6 terabyte of OneDrive cloud storage. Microsoft 365 family plan includes all the Office 365 application with 6 terabytes of OneDrive cloud storage. The plan has both monthly and yearly subscription options. It also comes into the category of premium plans that means you can download and install these applications on your devices. Now let's talk about Microsoft 365 business plans. If we talk about business plans of Microsoft 365, we have four different plans with different prices. We have price range from $5 to $20. As we have different price range, we have different features with every price and plan. First plan in Microsoft 365 Business Basic, which costs $5. In this plan, we will not only get the premium Office apps, which includes the web and mobile versions of Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Apart from these services, we will also get the cloud services which include Microsoft Teams, Exchange, OneDrive, and SharePoint. In second plan, which is Microsoft 365 Business Standard, we have a price of $12.50 per month. In this plan, we will have all the premium apps which include Outlook, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and we'll get only the PC version of Publisher and Access. If we talk about cloud services, we'll get the same services as we have in Business Basic Plan. Third plan is Microsoft 365 Business Premium, and this one will cost more than any other plan. As it is costing more than any other plans, as a result, it has more features than any of the plans available. In this plan, we will get all the premium Office apps with Publisher and Access as only PC versions. The additional thing here is that we will get Microsoft Azure and Intune as well. Microsoft Azure is a cloud-based solution that enables organizations to discover, classify, and protect documents and emails by applying different labels to content. In last plan, we have Microsoft 365 apps. As the name suggests, we will only get the Microsoft apps and OneDrive as the cloud services so the idea is that you can say that why OneDrive has been included here when we only want Microsoft apps. The thing is that it is included because we can attach the OneDrive with our Microsoft apps to have them saved automatically on the cloud. And you can access any of the file at any moment. The good thing about all these business plans is that we can have one month trial period and that it is totally free. So it will give a lot of benefit in making the decision whether to buy a plan or not. If we talk about the compatibility of Microsoft 365, it is compatible with Windows, Mac OS, iOS and Android. These are the operating systems which are used by a majority of the people in the world. So we can say that Microsoft covers majority of the potential users in the market. As we talked about premium services in our plans, let's see what apps are included in premium services. So as you can see, we have Word, we have Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, OneNote, OneDrive and Teams. So these are the core apps and services of Microsoft 365. Let's have a short overview of each app and services. Let's talk about Word first. Here you can create a simple text document with beautiful headings and beautiful text and a readable document. You can edit with the editor and you can correct the spelling mistakes. You can insert different tables pictures, 
you can insert links, you can add different designs of the tables, and you can also share this document. From here, you can enter the email and you can share this document with whomever you want to share it with. So here we have Excel. The thing is that it would have the latest features from Microsoft, which probably you do not get when you purchase it for the desktop. The thing is that when on the desktop, the app, once you have bought it, it would not update the features automatically. While on Microsoft 365, here you will get the latest features of Excel. In Excel, you can create sheets, you can uh, do some sort of record sharing, you can do some sort of calculation using different formulas and bunch of other stuff. We also have PowerPoint. On PowerPoint, you can create beautiful presentations to present in your thesis, in your college workshop, or in your office corporate presentations. Let's talk about the Outlook. Microsoft Outlook is an app on which you can compose an email, you can send it, you can attach different things, pictures, files, and you can even create a calendar. You can set your meetings and you can create different events and you can inform about it to your friends and family. Now let's talk about Microsoft Sway. Microsoft Sway is a new app from Microsoft 365 that makes it easy to create and share interactive reports, personal stories, presentations, and more. So here, let's say if I click on blog, here I would have a template. So in this template, I can add a different text, I can add pictures, I can add different sort of things to make this blog really beautiful. So here I can change the heading of this blog and then I can also change the picture. I can change the text if I want to and much more. I can also change the images that I have inside the blog and also the images that I have as the header of the blog. And we can also preview the blog in the end by going to the design tab. You can see that we have this template and we can add our own text, pictures, and headings to this blog. And this would exactly look like our own blog. Now let's talk about Microsoft Teams. Recently, during the pandemic, it has become really popular for university students to teach and learn the subjects. And in Microsoft Teams, you can create teams for different subjects if you are a university student or teacher. And even if you work in a corporate organization, you can also create your own teams and communicate with each other in the real time. Now let's talk about Microsoft SharePoint. We use Microsoft SharePoint to create websites. You can use it as a secure place to store, organize, share, and access information from any device. All you need is a web browser such as Microsoft Edge, Internet Explorer, Chrome, or Firefox. Let's have a little tour of what does it really mean. Here, I'll show you that we can make a web page in it. I would add the owners and the members and then I'll click on finish. Here, I can add different news. I can choose a template and then I need to create the page. I'll click on it and a page with the template that I've selected would be created. I can change the images and I can change the text on it and that's how I can create a beautiful page. So here, when you will click on post news, it will be published on our website. Here you can see that it has given you the message posted. Now let's talk about OneDrive. OneDrive is an online cloud application similar to Google Drive from Google. OneDrive is from Microsoft and here you can upload files and folders from your computer and you can access them online and offline. And don't matter which Microsoft business plan or personal plan or family plan you buy, you will get one terabyte of storage of OneDrive for one user.
If you don't know about Skype, it is one of the most famous video and voice chat applications. To be honest, the emergence of WhatsApp, Zoom, and FaceTime have made a Skype a little bit insignificant. But with Office 365 subscription, you get free 60-minute worldwide call-in. Office 365 is now called Microsoft 365 because apart from traditional Office apps, you get a lot more. Let's talk about Microsoft Partner Deals. Microsoft Partner Deals, as a Microsoft 365 subscriber, you get various deals from partners as you you can see that you can get three months of Adobe subscription and free ID protection for one year. You can access the partner benefits from the link that I'll put in the description below. Well, as a Microsoft 365 subscriber, you get another feature that is live text support from Microsoft. So that's it. In this video, we discussed what Microsoft 365 is, what are its advantages over other Microsoft Office additions, and what are the similarities and dissimilarities. Microsoft 365 is a subscription-based service where you get all traditional Office apps with all the latest features and updates. Apart from these apps, you get various other perks like deals with partners and live text support from Microsoft. Microsoft. But if you don't want to get all the benefits with 365 subscription, and if you are interested to go with a one-time payment method, then you can go for a regular release of Microsoft Office. The only disadvantage that is going to be is that you won't be able to access the new features as they come. And if you want to access the new features, for that you might have to subscribe to Microsoft 365 Office or you might have to buy the next released version or you might have to get or buy the new released version of Office. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel to get the latest videos to help you advance your IT career.